We've got a long and proud tradition of calling stupidity out when we see it on this show, and I suppose I shouldn't make any exception when I see feminists being stupid. So let me add my voice to the growing chorus of people telling feminists to fuck off about Richard Dawkins' latest controversial tweet. If you haven't heard about it, here's the tweet in its entirety. Quote, Islam needs a feminist revolution. It will be hard. What can we do to help? End quote. That's it. And apparently that was enough to earn dozens of headlines chastising him for mansplaining and telling Muslim women what they do and don't need. And to this, I simply say, fuck off. Look, this is as vanilla a statement as can be made. Of course Islam needs a feminist revolution. Even in the U.S., Muslim women generally aren't allowed to sit with the men. In the U.K., Muslim women are having their clits hacked off in the name of their religion. There's nothing at all sexist about pointing that out, whether or not you have testicles. But the worst thing about it is that it wouldn't take a hell of a lot of digging to find some genuine sexism to rail against. Here are three examples that I dug up the same day that Dawkins was under attack for phantom sexism. How about we start with Cheryl Rios, the CEO of Go8 Marketing in Dallas. She appeared on CNN last week to explain that a Hillary candidacy isn't viable due to hormones and biblical precedent. And while she tried her damnedest to couch it in a bunch of this is just my personal opinion talk, when you say, quote, with the hormones we have, there's no way we should be able to start a war, end quote. We all know it's just your personal opinion, and we also know you're an idiotic bitch. Or how about we turn to a historian making Braveheart look accurate? David Barton appeared on one of the three media outlets with low enough standards to have David Barton on this week. He was there to offer up his opinion of the Treasury Department's decision to replace Alexander Hamilton's likeness on the $10 bill with that of a female to be announced. After a few minutes of random whining about how this is yet another attempt to erase our history, Barton went on to claim that having a woman on the money would denigrate the Treasury Department and, by extension, the entire economic system of the United States. Because how can people take money seriously if there's no implied penis connected to it? But shit, Barton's ramblings sound tame compared to World Net daily columnist and person who makes Prometheus want to take back the fire, Patrice Lewis, who wrote a column this week urging parents not to let those damn feminists sacrifice their children to the sex gods. Seriously, her words. In the column, she explains that feminists, in an effort to, quote, justify their slutty behavior, end quote, are trying to turn little kids into fuck machines so that they'll look chaste in comparison. But don't worry, it's about more than just justifying our own sluttiness. The more preteens we can impregnate, the more fetuses we can sell on the black market as well. So I just want to add a dose of perspective. After all, it's not like this is an exhaustive list of all the stuff people said publicly that was way more sexist than Dawkins' tweet. Of course, to be fair, there certainly wasn't a unified feminist voice of condemnation against Dawkins, and the dude has said some pretty sexist shit in the past. But when you attack a person for asking how he can help support the feminist cause, I think you've lost sight of the line between your friends and enemies. Before you know it, you'll be sacrificing babies to sex gods. And with that, I'll hand things back over to Noah and Heath.